Now that you have finished building your hives, the next step is to design an apiary very well. So you bring your hives out and it's very important that you keep them on stands or hanging them somehow off the ground. This will eliminate a lot of pests from getting into your hive. One thing you can do is add some rubber or some cup, even tin is okay. Um, this helps to keep pests away and it also helps to preserve the stand. You can add some grease. Um, this deters ants or termites or mites from crawling up. And if you add some of this sheeting, it could also deter mice. So it's very important that uh, you build your apiary with pest controls. Um, the next thing is that you want to set up your apiary near shade. If the hives are in direct sunlight, they're going to overheat and they're going to just leave. So it needs to be near shade, but it can't be too close to any trees. If they're too close, then a mouse can jump onto it and disturb your hive. So it needs to be near shade, but not too close to trees. You also want to make sure that the entrance of your hive is facing out towards the sunlight. This will attract the bees to come in. You also want to make sure that every hive in your apiary, the entrance is all facing the same way. So once you set up one hive, you can set up up to 25 in one apiary. They can be close, not too close, um, but you can set up 25 around, again, all the entrances facing the same way so that when you come to work, you can stay behind them and not disturb the flight path of the bees. If you want to set up more than one apiary, you need to make sure there's about two to two and a half kilometers of space between the apiaries. Um, and that's how you design a good apiary. <laughs>